sitting around this table having a meeting. We got on the subject of Groundhog Day. Well, what should we do for Groundhog Day? Something fun, a little bit different out of the ordinary. Um, and then I blurted out, yeah, we could do two cocktails, one for winter, one for spring. And then depending on what happens, we can release one of those cocktails. I don't think it's any secret I like drinking cocktails. So something I enjoy doing is developing different recipes of cocktails and coming up, playing with flavors. One kind of important thing when developing a cocktail is to A, have a, have a flavor profile in mind, know which direction you want to go. Um, also, we all kind of have a little bit different ideas of what a cocktail should be, so it's nice when I can, I can come up with some few iterations and I might not be happy with it, but I can pass it around and be like, hey, what do you think about this? And, Everyone kind of has their own input, their thoughts, like little tweaks you can do here and there, and it's it's nice. It uh, it really helps to to drive development, you know, because maybe I, I come up with something and I just don't like it, but I don't know where I want to go with it, and uh, you know, that's better. I think I added too much water, <laughs> too much ice. That's a lesson when. Making cocktails, don't add crushed ice. It'll make your cocktail watery. Add big ice. Nick knows this. He likes his booze strong. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you alone. All right. I think you gotta pick it up. That's a GQ beer for sure. It's gonna get cold and sunny again. Should I just be sitting here like this?